and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Farron Burn. We're going to be playing a bigger mid-range burn deck with new uh, epic card, Captain Farron at the top end, 8-8 eight, eight Overwhelm for 8, so huge body, but now whenever I'm summoned, create 3 Decimates in hand. That's just going to be finishing up games super fast, you just get to draw 3 Decimates, um, yeah, and that's going to be killing people, so that's our, our plan. But what I wanted to do is not make such a flimsy burn deck, and that kind of starts... Um, it kind of starts like with our early game. So I just have Precious Pet for my only one drop because basically I don't want my one drop to be able to uh, die to either Omen Hawk or Hapless Aristocrat. Those are two popular one mana cards that I don't I don't want my one drops trading with. So Precious Pet has the Fearsome. They can't block with either of those. Um, so that's why I'm going with Precious Pet. The only other thing is I thought about playing some Astute Academics for a second one drop. Um, but just going to go with the 1-1 one, one drop. And then the 2-mana slot, I'm not going Boom Crew Rookie. Honestly, have not been too impressed with Boom Crew Rookie. It's basically basically Boom Crew Rookie these days. Like, the 1-3 has made it a whole lot worse, making this 3 health. A lot of times, it's just going to be, like, Mystic Shot upstairs. You know, it's, it's like, uh, um, it's like you, know, you get the Legion Grenadier trigger, but you don't get, like, the good... You don't get to, like, choose who you want to block. Like, it, it just does one damage to one thing and does two damage to them. So no Boom Crew Rookie, and instead we're going Kempunk Pickpocket. This is just a card that I, that I as y'all know, I really like this card. It, um, it can trade with, you know, anything, basically, being a 3-2. You know, it can trade with Callista, it can trade with Elise. Um, you know, trades a lot better. Plus you're able to, uh, if you actually Nexus Strike with this thing, you're you know, you're know, you creating random spells, and that's going to be winning games. And so whenever you have Kempunk Pickpocket, Pick Pick they kind of have to block this card all of the time. And sometimes maybe you'll be able to get in. Like maybe you can use burn spells to clear the way or things like that. So I really like this card. We got two of those instead. Um, three mana slot. We got Draven, uh, just a really good uh, three mana card. With this champion, we can create extra spinning axes to help us attack for more, or we can discard the spinning axes to rummage. I got one rummage in here. Um, and then going to go with some arachnoid sentries, get that stun in here, and just help us uh, attack for more and put pressure there. Because, like I said, we're going a little bit more mid rangey. We're just going with like some better uh, cards than what a normal burn deck's playing. I'm also playing two removal spells that normal burn decks don't play. I'm going with a culling, and basically because of Braum, because of how good Braum is. We got one culling strike that can take out Braum, and a Noxon guillotine, which can kill a Braum or, or kill like a bunch of other things, you know, like a Sejuani, um, things like that. So like really big stuff. We got one guillotine in here. Uh, you know, we got our burn spells, get excited at Fervor, a couple of Chump Wumps, uh, where again, Chump Wumps can create the Mushroom Clouds that we can either discard for the Dravens, for the Spinning Axes, or for the Get Excited, or again, we can rummage those away. Um, we got Vi, just an awesome champion. Y'all know how good Vi is. Because uh, again, we're just trying to be able to play just a, a straight-up game where we also have burn spells that kill our opponent. Uh, we already talked about Captain Fair at the top end. And then I got a spicy one, a suit-up. They can just, the people just aren't going to be expecting. Uh, this it's possible this should just be the second transfusion, but I just wanted to try a suit up for all of these two mana cards. You know, make Grenadier a 4-4, four, four, or Demolitionist, Disciple, Pickpocket, you know, um, even Precious Pet, making that a 4-4, four, four, or Draven. I just want to try a suit up, so we're going to play one. Alright, so this is a, a deck that I feel like is going to be pretty good. I feel like this deck's going to be pretty good, so let's let's give this a try. Definitely playing it over in Ranked, of course, but... Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one. And let's try out new Captain Farron with Farron Burn. And look at that, got paired against Braum right away. And I got a couple of cards to help take down Braum, including Guillotine. So we'll keep that. I would rather, I'd much rather have Culling Strike, of course, against Braum. Because if if we guillotine a Braum, that means um, that means their Braum already created a mighty Poro as well, 
And so that's kind of rough. Let me show you what I can do. Delicious. Come here, darling. Look what you did. Alright, dealing damage to... Uh, that thing's now damaged, so that we can kill that with guillotine as well. Attack with this Braum, or try to attack into this Braum. <clears throat> we can use like transfusion to keep this Braum from triggering, like, that's something we could do. I think I just let them. I think I just have to let this happen and then just go guillotine, guillotine, kill those two things. Oh, this hurts. Man, I just, I want to pass turn and see if they take heart. That would be amazing if we could get a Braum with the take heart. Rummage those away, and now I can pass and I get priority again. Darn, right, didn't work. Yeah, Starlet Brahms the mid range deck. Oh, yeah, I called it mid range. Or, uh, I need to edit some of these deck names. We're going to call this Baron uh, Burn. Yeah, I liked that. I like that Starlet Braum deck. We did go two and three, but uh, I like that deck. It felt really good. Fight or die. It's not super easy to get through Remember the objective. with damage these days. That's why we need Captain Farron. No fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. You ever beat Sejuani? Has it anybody ever beat this card? Said you hope beat that card. Of boredom? Ugh.
Today we fight as one! Death doesn't scare me! Well, maybe it should. I love they're not attacking with Sajwani. I love that. Hey, Cabo, welcome back. Captain Farron. Darn. That didn't work. Captain Farron. Oh, not. How are we drawing our- I only have one one drop. Why are we drawing our one drop in the in the late game? What are we doing? That is not how you play burn. Don't draw your one one drop. No Vi's, no Captain Farron's. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of places where Captain Farron can fit in. That's why I blocked everything is because of Fury of the North. The winter's claw endures. Didn't help. Sejuani's Fear of the North. They had two Sejuani's. Lucky. And zero buys. Switch that around. Give me give me two buys that game. Them zero Sejuani's. That could have been a lot different. Would have been a lot different. Okay. We'll go with this. Even double tusk rated to get a 2020 Sejuani. Yuck, or. You know, like 2021 or whatever, but yeah, that somebody somebody did that to you, they had a 20 power Sejuani. Well, that was pretty crazy, the two Vi's triggering like at the same time. Let me show you. Fast? Oh, those didn't trigger the Sejuani's or the Vi's. Sorry, I said Sejuani again. I meant Vi. Those didn't trigger the Vi's. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Who's stun deck now? That would be us. Um, yeah, that's okay. They could have like a stun or a recall and turn their thing into a 3-3. I hope not. Darn, they did. Underestimate. I dare you. Um, yeah, now my attack's not nearly as good. Do I let them kill Crimson Disciple and, let's see, they kill Crimson Disciple, block this, they go, do they take two? 
That's probably not worth sending those in for two damage. No. I should have just attacked immediately. My play wasn't good against that specific card. Well, we got all the Vi's now. They're like, you want advice? Here you go. Here you go. Oh, it's all. Definitely love getting both these blade twirlers off the battlefield. Those are absolutely problematic cards. With their quick attack and everything. Basically doing this just to level up the Vi. I'd like to get to the Vi, the Vi to 10. Don't have too much more way to go. They're at nine. I got six in hand. For conquest, for empire. Hmm. It's not great. I guess that's not going to be leveled up yet. Okay, so that's good. Move it. Basically, the problem with playing Sentry is we may need... I need to discard the sentry to the get excited. Like, if I have to kill Yasuo. Blade never gets any lighter. great for me.
yeah, I think Draven's, you know, Draven just costs three mana. Dang. Jinx costs four. I'm not really planning on having like an empty hand that much as far as like leveling up Jinx. Like we're, it's not really a Jinx deck. I think Draven does a better job of pressuring and attacking and things like that. I'm so glad they're not attacking. If they just attack out, a lot of trouble. So I need them to not have any, just not have a stun or recall card. As long as they don't have a stun or a recall card. And, you know, like then should have them. Come on, they've had so much stun and recall. No. I mean, it's not over. Not yet, anyway. We could still draw another burn spell. Keep them both of these in case we draw another. Get excited. That is not... Not enough... Damage. That's eight damage to them. Ugh, if I would have cast this Mushroom Cloud and if they would have drawn a Mushroom. Oh my gosh. How are they just passing? I mean, I just have to accept the pass. I can't. I can't cast one of these and have them then attack. No. Oh, after I talk bad about Boom Crew Rookie, this is this is where Boom Crew Rookie would have shined. Oh, I need something to be alive for the Nocturne Fervor. Right, I need to Nocturne Fervor. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. I forgot I actually need to Nocturne Fervor something. Well, I guess that's going to be you. Come on, pickpocket. I'm gonna need you to draw a lot of those puff caps, please. Darn. What are they doing? <laughs> like, what? I don't understand what they're doing. They just never attack with anything. They're being very polite, I guess. Trying not to do any damage to me. guess they just had they probably had another deny in hand that's probably what they like they probably just had like all these denies and just didn't really care <laughs> yeah They're just playing with their food all right so that time drawing all three vies well it's not so good all right, I like this curve, Disciple into Draven. And I like that we're attacking on turn three for Draven, that's nice. We're also attacking on turn five for Vi, too. 
Ooh, Captain Farron. Both of these games, Captain Farron would have been amazing to have, but we never had. Uh, we're probably going to need to kill this Teemo before turn 5. Probably, but maybe not. This is going to be like last game where we started with one Vi and then we immediately drew the other two. Yes, it is. Just like last game, keep one Vi and immediately draw the other two. Like, you, can, you complained about not having top end last time, right? Well, here you go. Here's all of the most expensive guards in your deck. Well, at least they gave me a good draw with the Draven. That's probably my best draw I could have this turn. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. Too bad. Doesn't hurt us too much. It's kind of unfortunate that you play a harsh winds and both of your things still die. That's probably not what they wanted. Century, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do, Arachnoid Century. So I'll put them down to six. I don't think I should just go Vault Breakers first when they're like a Harsh Winds deck. Oh, wait. We can still decimate him. Oh, whoops, I guess that one was a 10 power. Oh well. Yeah, this is this is how our deck's supposed to look. A burn deck that can still play a good late game. Like I can't beat triple decimate. I was supposed to go to five. Only went to four. Nah, eh, whatever. Get 
thought that was going to go to five, and then, yeah, then we'd use the other spinning axe to kill Sejuani. I think we'll be okay, though. I don't know about y'all, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be just fine. Yeah. She, I guess, so yeah, so, so my Vi was at 9 Maybe before the Frostbite, go. and so our the first spell I played did put the Vi up to 10, but then another one didn't. I was thinking the Vi was at 8 before Frostbite, and we could get up to 6. But yeah, Vi does not continue to get more pluses um, after Frostbitten if if she already got plus eight in general and so would have had 10 power um, but i was i was one off i i thought that she was eight four but she was a nine four because the the Farron made it nine so yeah that was my b <clears throat> okay let's see noxus burn Probably gonna need Culling Strike. Even though like we're like trading down mana on Culling Strike. But probably gonna need that just to kill Green Glade Duo. That game was pretty awesome though. That game showed our deck a lot better. I'll try anyone. Precious pet. Swift and silent as the breeze. The party has arrived. I need no weapon. Alright, I'm gonna go straight to attackers also before they can play another blocker. So if they don't want to take five, they have to block with solitary monk. I would have discarded, if they would have blocked, I would have gone Spinning Axe, discard the guillotine. That's what I would have done. Oh, uh, this is not the match for guillotine. I would have discarded that card. Down to six. You hoping they'll die of boredom? I am worried about calling strike right here because then they can transfusion. Or they do that. Still can have transfusion. Yay. Yeah, my plan was to play by this turn. That was my plan. Hey Krabby! That's my resting face.
Just have eight more power of elusives. I can stop them a little bit. I got a culling strike, but that's that's it. Let's not mm. Why that card? Seriously, any other card but that. Any other card but that. Power of elusives. <laughs> Why is it always the exact amount they need? Uh, well, I might as well have them go to attacks first. I mean, it doesn't matter if I do it before or after combat. Okay, not dead yet. That's good. No, now dead. So that was a that was a showing of why Noxian Guillotine and Culling Strike are not very good when your opponent plays four three elusives, especially Noxian Guillotine. That's a really bad matchup for Noxian Guillotine, but it's just a one of in our deck. I mean, kind of the same with the Culling Strike. There's just different, you know. There's just other decks where you really need those cards more. Um, but yeah, the four three elusive that was definitely the card I did not want to see. Uh, Noxian Guillotine could help us take down Zedwani. I don't really like any of these. To be honest. Wouldn't you love to play against their deck and they don't have Omenhawk on turn one? Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, this is exactly how we lost uh, this game earlier. Was turn one Omenhawk, trigger Sejuani. All right, but let's let's take a look at suit up. Let's go suit up. So I would just play in the one suit up. Try to get that going. I need the reputation. Um. Hmm. Bleh. Nothing blocks. What is this about? Transfusion? It's gotta be transfusion. Uh, is it guillotine? It's like, this is going to happen. Do I just use the guillotine now so I can have Mystic Shots go upstairs? Potentially. But then this could be a lot worse for me against like a Braum later on. 
Braum and Sejuani. Like, Guillotine's great against Braum and Sejuani. Braum's just gonna be such a huge problem. Braum creating... creating that mighty Poro. Man, that card is good. Don't have Braum, please. Don't have Braum. I like drawing by. That's a good draw. That was a card we didn't have the last time. The last time they had multiple Sejuanis and a Braum, but I didn't. And I didn't have Vi's. No. Built over enforcer on the scene. Remember the objectives. The few So I can see them going take heart. Oh no, they just let me have that. Wow. Alright. Because if they had take heart, then I would have guillotined. You know, then I would have had Guillotine. Well, that's pretty big. Getting that to work out. Next turn we'll have, it'll be seven, so we'll have ten mana. We cast this three times. I'm just gonna play a mushroom cloud here. I mean, every every puff cap they draw is more damage for me. See, there we go. Get that closer and closer. Is nothing. Unfortunate. So that was going to be the card that was going to damage the Sejuani. I could go Mystic Shot the Sejuani also. Um, and then Guillotine it. You know, I needed I needed this thing to have a little bit of health. Yeah, I mean, this is just worth it to do. Alright, kill that thing. Block here, block here. Excuse you! Alright, 
right, good. No elixir of iron. Captain Farron! Where are you? It's turn eight. We have two of you in the deck. Where are you? Alright, that's fine. A lot easier to deal with these things now. That's 12 damage right there. Got a couple of Legion Grenadiers. Help us out. Let's go. Good that Captain Fahrenheit. Braum deck, uh, too, yeah, too late for the Braum deck. You can see our schedule over here on the left. We did play the Braum deck. We went two and three with the Braum deck, but it honestly looked, it honestly looked pretty good and and did pretty well. But we just ended up, uh, we did end up losing three out of five to some just ridiculous stuff. Really, you know, I mean, we well, we, we basically lost the two total cards. We lost the Heimerdinger and really silly Heimerdinger stuff, and then we lost to a couple, a couple of decks with some really well-timed Fury of the Norths. That's kind of a problem. Thankfully, thankfully I drew this Get Excited, otherwise that would be a real big problem. big problem. Bow to no one. Wait. What are they doing? I mean, I guess you do have... Like, like they just, they know I have that other decimate. Like, oh, oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. The Braum, okay, I was thinking the Braum was going to be lethal because it was six power. My bad, my bad. The Braum, that Fury of the North. Yeah, they, they have to do that. They had, they had no option. Okay, my bad, my bad. Yeah, the, the Braum went back to being a 2-6. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. My bad, that's not take heart. You know, it's not permanent like take heart. Um, but yeah, so I was trying a couple of different things in here, but I like, you know, I, I like this deck of, of just, you know, good, basically good card burn, um, into Captain Farron. Uh, Arachnoid Century, one of the games looked, didn't look so good against the other stun deck, but then there's another game against Edgewani where it looked really good. Um, kind of the same thing with Guillotine, right? Like, Guillotine looked very, very bad against, um... The elusives, but then whenever we played against the Sejuani, uh, we were able to take down a Sejuani and a bigger Poro with the Guillotine. Uh, one time we were able to take down a Braum with the Guillotine. So like that's, that's the thing about that card. Um, suit up, eh. probably should just be Transfusion. You know, we did get to suit up that one drop on turn two. That was that was pretty pretty cute, but um, it died the very next turn, <laughs> unfortunately. So. 
Yeah, pseudo should probably just be transfusion. Especially because of the strength of transfusion with Crimson Disciple. But I wanted to give that a try. But I, I think that moving forward, that should be transfusion. Uh, but yeah, Vi's good. Um, you know, having the Captain Farron um, at the top end. Uh, um, you know, like that's that. This card's looked good. It really has, and it's been like the card that, uh, you know, like we get we get a good amount of damage in. You know, kind of play a mid -ra mid rangey game. You know, like the opponent is like working on stabilizing that kind of stuff. Like we don't get too far behind, and then boom, eight mana, eight eight overwhelm, and the game just completely changes with the three decimates that it creates. Decimates that it creates. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's some Farron Burn. Captain Farron Burn. Um, how does uh, how does Heimer and Braum pair up? Uh, well, Braum, Braum does a really good job killing the turrets that, that uh, Heimerdinger makes. Um, but Braum can't really kill. It's hard for Braum to kill Heimerdinger. And usually Heimerdinger can go wider. But um, but anyway, uh, that's it here for Farron Burn. Those of y'all watching this later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, you know, any decks that uh, you want to see and stuff like that. We'll, we will do some Poros uh, either tomorrow or the next day. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep on playing some more of these epics. Um, we're going to be playing Harrowing tomorrow. Uh, we're going to keep playing like these epics that got uh they got upgraded um in uh you know in the coming days all right but anyway that's it here for fair and burn thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video